Uh-oh, uh-oh, someone's got the party machine. Do you have the time? Sir, do you have the time? It's party time. Stop looking at your watch. I would have accepted David O'Doherty time as well. It's going to be like a party in my house. That's what the next five minutes is all about. In many ways, it won't be like a party in my house. As I'll be the one doing most of the partying and you'll just be sitting in the dark receiving the party. Which sounds pretty sleazy when you put it like that. Considering you have paid to receive the party. Cause there's a party starting right now. You are all invited. Party starting right now. Time to get excited. It's as if the neighbors on this side have gone away. And the neighbors on this side are old and pretty much deaf. Party, 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 party. People standing in the kitchen, they're talking about the king's speech. Pretty good film is the general consensus. There's gonna be lots of ladies and men. There's some cheese in the kitchen. Baby bells, there'll be streamers flying through the air. Someone will probably go home wearing someone else's coat. It's gonna be fucking mayhem. Tell all your friends and invite them along. But not friends of friends. That would be too many friends. And my party needs some basic ground rules. You don't want a situation like at Rob's party last year, where a CD went missing. Someone broke a chair. And someone tried to fill Rob's dog with helium. Tried to stick him onto the celium. But he didn't float up or bark high pitched. He just became violently ill. Party, 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 party. Someone's drinking through a straw from a coconut. <laughs> We're gonna party on through till the break of dawn or until I come down in my dressing gown and say, that's it, everyone, fuck off. Party over. I'm going to bed. Can you please take your coats off my bed? Party, party, party. Oh, was someone doing it in the coats? Party, it's that sort of party. Thank you. Wow. I am... Thank you very much, everyone. I am David O'Doherty. I am the creator of uh, Wangyuri. If you don't know about Wangyuri, uh, it's kind of like Movember. Except instead of growing a moustache and looking sleazy for a month in aid of testicular cancer, you go the full way and leave your cock and balls out for all of January. It's a pleasure to uh, close this show. I'd like to finish with, um, with a love song. Sometimes I wonder how my life would be if we had never met at all. Nobody there in the evening to hold to call going to bed feeling lonely but not knowing lonely for who this is how my life might be without you or I might be banging, banging, banging in the morning, banging in the night. Ladies be like, let's bang. Me, I'm like, right, but please queue up. I've only got one wang, but if you all wait your turn, we can have some sweet banging, banging. In the club with my click and my click, be like, what's hanging? I have an idea, click, let's start banging. One, two, three, let the banging begin. It's not a race, it's just banging. Obviously, that is an immature view of single life. Come on, everyone. There's more, whoa, there's more to it. There's more to it than just banging. There's also humping, humping. After the show and the party's pumping, ladies be like, Big D, wanna do some humping? All right, ladies, but the place is pretty small. Then we'll just have to hump in the hall. It's literally just, around, it's always, always around the back for the D man. <laughs> banging, 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 humping, 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 humping. This is an alternative view of how things might be without all of you.